This is Beep Beep and I've been getting a ton of questions about him so I'm gonna use this video to answer the most frequently asked questions about Beep Beep. In case you missed it, Beep Beep is a bird that someone found with a broken leg in a parking lot. I went and rescued him last weekend, took him to the vet and we got x-rays which showed us that he had actually been shot in the leg and his leg was also like dislocated, it wasn't in the right spot. So he had no use of the leg anyway and he was already getting around pretty well so we made the decision to amputate his leg which ultimately saved his life. First question is what is he? He's a chucker partridge, also sometimes known as a red-legged partridge. Number two is is he a wild animal? No, he is a captive bred animal that is not native to this area. The only reason he was found in the wild is because he was raised by humans and then released to be hunted, which is why he got shot in the leg. However, just because he's not a wild animal doesn't mean that he's a domestic animal. He's captive bred, so just like most types of pet birds that people keep, like parrots, they're not wild, but they're also not domestic. Regardless of whether they were wild caught or captive bred, they're not domesticated. But unlike most domesticated animals and even some parrots that can thrive on human interaction and love to be around their humans, Beep Beep is probably never gonna do that. He will tolerate me, he will enjoy that I bring him food, but he's not gonna be like a cuddly bird. And for that reason, I do not recommend going out and getting a partridge as a pet. That brings me to our third question. Will I be keeping him? Yes, I will be keeping him. As I said, he's not a wild animal, so he can't go to a wildlife rehab. And while I'm sure he could go to a farm rescue, most of those rescues are already inundated with plenty of other farm animals that are in need. So it's kind of a situation where it's like, if I can provide everything that he needs to thrive and live a good, happy, healthy life, why wouldn't I? Because if I sent him to a rescue, they're probably just gonna adopt him out to somebody else anyway. And I know that at least here, he'll have a good life. But can he live with the ducks? Absolutely not. He is a ground fowl and a game bird and they are waterfowl so their needs are very different and their enclosures are going to look very different. Also male partridges tend to be pretty aggressive with other birds and if he doesn't injure them my drakes will probably try to drown him so that would not be a good situation. That brings me to the next question where will he live? Well he's going to need an aviary specifically built for him and within that aviary he's gonna have plenty of places to hide under because I read that in the wild they like to you know hang out under bushes but he's also gonna have places where he can roost up high because I also read that they like to roost at night so it's gonna be a little partridge paradise. I did set up a t-shirt fundraiser over on my merch site for him because after his x-rays and amputation and building this aviary and just getting him set up with everything that he needs to survive, we are looking at well over $2,000 in expenses and I'm hoping this fundraiser can help offset some of those costs. I'm gonna pop a picture of the design up on the screen, but I just wanted to say thank you so much to my friend who runs the account at Little Quackers. She's the owner of Pablo the Duck and she is so incredibly talented and drew this for us to help us do this fundraiser and wouldn't have been possible without her. So thank you so much. And if you wanna check out the fundraiser, it'll be linked to my bio and on my merch site. In the meantime, Beep Beep is living in this giant fish tank behind me, which is kind of convenient because, because he just had leg amputation surgery, he needs to be in a pretty confined space so he's not going too crazy and flying everywhere and he just needs to relax and let his body heal. So that's pretty good for right now, but obviously when his sutures come out, he's gonna need an aviary. A lot of people ask, what does Beep Beep eat? So I try to give him a diet that closely resembles what he would eat in the wild. The main part of his diet is Missouri Game Bird Maintenance Feed, which is actually the same brand of feed that I give to my ducks, but they specifically formulated this for game birds. So it has all the essential vitamins and minerals that this specific bird needs to survive but I also like to give him a big variety of things that closely resemble what he would eat in the wild. So he has a game bird seed mix. He has a variety of different types of leaves and grasses. And I also have been giving him dried insects. Will Beep Beep be getting friends? So Beep Beep actually doesn't want friends. Beep Beep needs friends. Just like the ducks, he's a flock animal. So the only way he can thrive is to be with other birds of his same species. The only thing that's a little bit complicated is that well, first he does have to get a DNA test so I can absolutely be 100% sure that he is a male because if he is a male, he probably would not get along with other male partridges. So I would have to find a female partridge and I would really, really prefer to rescue another partridge because I honestly had no clue that these birds ever would even show up in rescues because I didn't think they were that common. I have actually been talking to Aubrey who runs Good Sprout Rescue and she has been so incredibly helpful with helping me learn about how to care for these birds because her rescue actually has some of them. So if I can find a partridge in need, I would really prefer to get one that way. So how does having one leg affect Beep Beep? Honestly, he had no use of his leg when I found him. So I don't really know 
the difference it's made in his life because he already gets around so well on one leg. I mean, the people that initially found him couldn't even get close to him because he would run away so fast on one leg. Plus, he can also fly incredibly well. Yesterday, I was actually giving him his medication and I have to, you know, wrap him up and bundle him up like this so I can get his mouth open and give it to him. And he managed to escape the swaddle and he literally flew from on the ground where I was holding him across the room and up into the skylight in like a split second. I mean, he is an incredible flyer. Honestly, if he had no legs, he would probably still get around fine, but thankfully he does have one and he does really well on it. He balances really well. He hops along really well. It doesn't really seem to bother him. So I think he's still gonna be able to thrive even with just one leg. How old is Beep Beep? Honestly, there's no way to truly know, but I assume he's somewhere between six months and one year of age, only because usually when people raise them to hunt them, they release them at around four, five, six months old. And I just can't imagine he was out in the wild for that long. Next question is, even though he can't live with the ducks, is he still gonna be able to meet them? So there's really no benefit to these two very different types of birds ever interacting, but because they're gonna be living on the same property, they're probably gonna see each other. As I said, he's not a domesticated bird, so he's going to be living within his aviary. He's not gonna free range, but the ducks are obviously gonna free range in the yard sometimes. So when they come out, they're probably gonna like see each other in the yard, but they're never gonna like be put together and be forced to interact because it probably wouldn't end well if I'm being completely honest. The last frequently asked question is why did I name him Beep Beep? So after I rescued him and I had him sitting in a cardboard box driving him home, I kept thinking that I was getting honked at and I was really confused because like I got honked at once and then I was going through the easy pass and I got honked at again and I was like that is so weird because like of course I'm gonna slow down to go through the easy pass like that's how you do it. Um, so I was really confused and then I realized I was not getting honked at. He just makes a beep beep sound and I thought it was a car, but it wasn't, it was him. Unfortunately, I have not been able to get him on camera doing pretty much anything. All the cool things I see him do, as soon as I whip out my phone, he's like, he just freezes and he sits. And yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna wait. We're gonna have to wait for him to come around to hear the beep beep sound. I do think once I get him a female though, he'll probably, oh. Buddy. Beep Beep has requested to go back to his house now, but thank you for watching. And if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments.